Hey YouTube, this is React City, I'm Marcus, and this is... Rose! And I'm oh. Nikki. And this is... Breaking of Kings! <laughs> the <laughs> last episode! <laughs> <laughs> we need our intro. Fumble this on the last one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But we left off! Everything's taken care of, question mark? Oh, except Desha. Vlad. Desha, right? Vlad. Vlad. <laughs> so maybe we'll see some of that in this episode. We have to, or yeah. it's going to be a major season three thingy. Mm -hmm. Season three? How do we get oh, to for season two? <laughs> I felt like this is going on for a while. <laughs> Well, it's, it's 20 some episodes. 23 episodes, actually, which you were saying you were upset about because you were like, 24! <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm also curious to see what, if anything, they see for season two or mm -hmm. if this is supposed to be a contained story because we've talked about before where this show very much feels like a fairy tale. Yeah. Where, like, it's one of those old stories of the great monster and that, you know? Mm -hmm. And people don't die because it's a fairy tale. Fairy tales were brutal. But you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. that, that feel of a fairy tale. Yeah. yeah. But I, I will say there is an issue I take with this is that I, I need there to be some sort of consequence for the things that have occurred. Mm -hmm. The show kind of pushed it around where by revealing that characters have a better size of them or things are horrible things happen to them. And I can accept things like that for like Miranjo, but she's literally getting off scot free. Yeah. And she's caused a lot. So she's I, caused everything. She caused everything. I, yeah. I, I need to see. I don't need her to suffer, but I need to see the world change or react in a way in response to the things that has occurred. Yeah. I don't want him to act like nothing happened. Yeah, mm. agreed. Mm. So maybe we'll make some people to see that in this episode. Remember, <laughs> remember to hit the like button, remember to hit the subscribe button, remember to, in the in the other description place, see maybe these episodes in an, an, uh, for a week early, perhaps, and uncut versions. So we Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of a lot of them. All of them. Yeah. It's, it's not up to you. You did not just pardon her. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> That. It was my <laughs> silent ship, but it was yeah. mine. Oh, look, they're all in heaven looking at each other. Oh, and looking at her. You almost went there. <laughs> Aw, she's forgiven her too. Aw. Oh. Aw. Did everyone see that? <laughs> Bigger tears. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like so <good> enough. <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of what you asked for. <laughs> yeah, I tried to kill my brother. Sorry about that. You did nearly kill him. <laughs> Oh, he looks like a Oh, makes him not worthy of it anymore. <gasps> oh, somebody had to say it. Appies. Ooh, Appies is saying it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Stop back up, Boji. Oh, you know he's still inside. Oh. You couldn't need his help. Never supported him. Oh, <laughs> oh he didn't oh, did it. Oh, my gosh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to tell the secret. Oh, yeah. I was like, sorry about that. <laughs> uh huh. He always knew. <laughs> Stand straight. King of Fire! Um, 
Monday. Where have you two been? Heidi! He's like, whatever. Well, you all right. This is toss him in the air. Um, oh, no. Oh, everyone wow. looks so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, guys, guys, heck, guys, guys. Oh my gosh. It was what have you done? They were. He was right not to trust them. <laughs> oh, that's great. I guess this is what you get off the big four, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the bean. Better now. Later. Later? What do you mean? <laughs> Look at this character on one end. I saw that diamond. Where are you going? Oh, oh now he feels he's not good enough. Not that easy. Get back here. Aww. Yes, change your mind, Kage. Oh, I thought he had legs. I was very confused. Oh, Kage! You can see your lips broken. It doesn't matter if you whisper. Go the other way. <laughs> he is. Seriously, Dove, you're such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna put that one on? Mm. He's actually giving it up. He's giving up his relationship with Kage and taking on the real throneness. Oh, he's being Key. a big boy. Oh, 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 is he setting up? Oh, oh they're taking the I tribute probably. Oh, Kingbo, Kingbo. Who's this? Kingbo. Oh, it's Kingbo. Oh. I guess the snakes took care of him independently. Uh oh. Kingbo. Is it Kingbo? What the heck? For goodness sake. Why, bro? Oh, oh no! Oh no! What's what if you want him? We don't have King Boss anymore. Oh man, that's so painful. Oh, he's back. Lightning! And he sliced it again. Oh, oh my it's God. Grown. Wait a minute. It's grown. Wait a minute. Wow. How did that work? Hmm. Uh, oh, that's. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. He's just gonna crawl towards his head now? He'll get it back. But... Yeah. They can't contain him at this oh. point. I mean, they could just throw him in jail. Wait till no one is looking. このところ、あなたのご友人の姿が見えないわね。うん。うん。あなたは王様になりたかったのでしょ。王様はこの国に暮らすみんなを幸せにする。とっても大事な仕事なの。うん。ごい、シャルディ。全然言わないで。伊勢番号教えて書いてあるけど。わお。はい。何でもやるから仕事。おお。おお。おお。しかし、まだなかなか難しいね。He's still optimistic. Oh. Yeah. Somebody went out to find his house. Yeah. 
Oh! Are <laughs> those tiny fingers? Oh, oh, that's a terrible. Oh my thing. gosh! What the hell? Oh, gee! Oh. He was a dweeb. Oh, he's here! Yeah, tiny crown! <laughs> Everyone in this kingdom happy. Anata ni tote, honto ni daisna koto o mitsuketa no nara. Gaman suru koto nante nai no. Then you can give up this kingdom. You didn't give it up? Please tell me you did it. Of course you did! Dang it! Yes! <laughs> Adventure King? Adventure King! Oh! Oh, he gives us a great idea! That's a great idea! Yeah, season two! <laughs> Perfect ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Who said that? Oh, he's just looking at the To abandon him again. Yeah, don't do it again. Oh. 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 oh, so cute. And then that leads into the outro where they're adventuring. Oh, oh, that makes sense. No, that makes I get sense. It. No, I'm just some fighting things to get kingdom. Yes, cheer you on. Yay! Saving people. Oh, never mind. Those, Those are all the bad Yeah. <laughs> and they grasp the royal kingdom. <laughs> Discussion. Discussion. I would have never expected a show like that out of that poster. That, right. That Kim King's poster. I would no. never have watched a show if you didn't. I post know. It. Barely watched that. I, I was. Just, I was just like. I. I, th I don't even remember. I was just on a binge, and I was like, "There's nothing good. Let me see what this random thing." I thought it was gonna be a baby show. Ugh. I thought it was just literally one of those, oh, uh, you know, underwear kid? Yeah. L like, you know, the oh, underwear yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. Underwear. I thought it was something like that. Because he's literally just on his under in his underwear on the throne. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, is this going to be one of those? And I was like, I th was like, oh, I wonder, the title is Ranking of Kings. Maybe it's just like a tournament thing. Yeah. But no, it just turned into this amazing show. Very amazing. And every single every single week it came out, I was just like, I'm so happy this show exists. <laughs> yeah. I love this show so much. I lo I love this show to the end. It was great. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah. Um, a mm -hmm. lot that I can understand that will likely never be answered, but some that are seated there now that we know that Miranda is going to just be living with Dida, who is going to be still the king. Mm -hmm. um, who's that guy who betrayed Miranda? Who got her shot the second time? Oh yeah. yeah. Why mm -hmm. did he do that? Who is he? he? Had a very unique face, so that's mm -hmm. the thing to come back to. Mm -hmm. Kesha yeah. was not resolved at all. Oaken, mm -hmm. 
a bit weird because I feel like his body can reattach and it's, they just want to contain him. They don't want him separated like that forever because they can keep him in a cell. It took magic to get him out. Yeah, they, they want him all together yeah. because they want to fix him someday. Yeah, so just let him get his body back and then lightning him, lightning him, lightning him. Yeah. Well, currently it seems like Vlad might be un... un yeah. Right. So I think that... that Reachable. Yeah, that... What I was going to say, that um, untied knot there mm-hmm. is going to connect with the Desha thing kind of simultaneously. Like, it'll all be... It'll be happening simultaneously, I think. Mm. Like, he finds his head, becomes formidable again, Desha gets whatever he gets out of the vault. Mm. Yeah. Even better prediction for season two, Boji fi- f- fishes out a fish. Oh my god! Finds he Oaken's head in there, and then they go on an adventure with his head oh. and bring back uh, his humanity organically. Oh my god! His head reattaches, and they're all friends. Oh my god! I can see that happening. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> Incredible! Oh, no, even better, his body and his head are like no longer co- like they oh. don't think together anymore. So his mm-hmm. body's like, What's, wh- what do you mean? Let them live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but his head is like, no, they're my friends now. We cool, we fam. And but then he's like fighting himself. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh my god, so ridiculous! I'm just like, actually, <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen in this world, apparently. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but um, at the top we see um, lots of enjoyment. Dida mm-hmm. relinquishes the throne, yeah. and Miranda is forgiven. Yeah, Miranda is forgiven. Were, you're it was like the exactly. complete. Uh, I feel like you checked out at that point. Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah, yeah, you were like, oh okay. And like as soon as it said, I forgive you. It's like, oh, you just like oh. broke my heart. <laughs> well, well, it's just like I have to set my expectations right. Yeah. I, I went into this through this whole show. I've been waiting for that moment of that thing that goes across the line because mm-hmm. we saw like the very <coughs> metal scenes of like the body creation and the shredding the body. It's like it, so it can go. Dark places. Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't want Miranda to suffer. I wanted to see the world of consequences. So when, yeah. so I did see it. Mm-hmm. When Diana relinquished the throne, I was like, okay, that's good. I can see that. If you want to save Miranda, you need to show everybody that you accept responsibility. And yeah, if that was his way. Yeah, you're stepping down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it got completely reversed. Yeah, through the course of the episode, so yeah. it meant nothing really. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's it was kind of like made whoever was on Team Dida made them happy and made Boji people happy as well. Mm. I, <sighs> Go ahead. I was gonna say it's a perfect ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's too it, perfect. No, no, it's not too perfect. It's yeah. You ever read a book and you want s- certain people to be happy, but it can't happen because mm-hmm. things are just too complicated or mm-hmm. too much blood in the water. Mm-hmm. But you can imagine what if they, it could all just move yeah, past yeah. to have happy ending. Yeah. That's what happened here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I was waiting for someone to pay for all that blood in the water, but it didn't happen. So once I got the happy ending, I was like, I could push aside my need for... Consequences. Cosmic justice. <laughs> I, guess. <laughs> I guess. I can put it aside and just... Like enjoy I said in the last episode, I can enjoy a happy ending, and it was very fulfilling, so I, mm-hmm. I can take that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I the, the only thing, it felt really weird with the whole Miranda, you're forgiven suddenly thing, is because, well, it's, it, this episode feels like it was like an episode unto itself, or like, regardless of what happened before. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it felt like that, but for the last episode, I was just like, the whole series is basically about cause and effect about yes. consequences yes and then Miranda gets none <laughs> not just Miranda, no one really well i mean dida kind of went through some yeah, stuff yeah yeah dida got i think he, he got the shit got the stick man yeah he got a serious like butt whooping Mm. Yes, and I, he he's, needed he's probably sore <laughs> yes <laughs> he, he needed a, something to change him because he was he built up this ego from he was a child the way yeah. he looked down on his brother mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so and he he finally was able to see that the good side of it, the the story of his brother and the truth of his brother and mm-hmm. his father and all of that so and in being in the darkness and alone yeah. is a lot that he he had to go through it's like Boji went through a more positive way of like changing him and becoming stronger mm-hmm. Dida went through the most negative version yeah to, to be fixed well one of them needed to have confidence build up and the other one needed to be humble humbled yeah but so I think if anyone experienced consequences in the show, it was Dida. Dida got the shortest end of that stick. I think where I had the issue was like you're saying, there's cause and effect, and there's consequences, and there's people running off in the woods crazy because of they couldn't. I, I'm assuming their pride made them pick the thing in the vault or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then 
all of those things are happening, and then suddenly it doesn't happen anymore at the end. Mm-hmm. And that was a little jarring. Yeah. And that's why I was like, but where is it? You know, I was waiting for the thing to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think a, a bit of solace you can take is there There were a lot of things, like you're saying, that weren't, sat, like, weren't answered. Yeah. So I feel like there's room this show is, is I think, well-loved. And I think they will make more of the story. Yeah. And so they have to revisit some. Like, they can't just throw in a king dancing, a, a, a king, probable king, oh, dancing yeah. on a mountain, worshipping uh, souls, eating and spitting <laughs> beasts, and never revisit it, anything related to it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. And then we're about to sacrifice our main character. Yeah. Like, that has to mean something. Like, that was so random. So random. Mm-hmm. They had to put it in there for a reason. That's, things like that, I think mm-hmm. they'll, they'll have to come back to. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I while I was expecting it, I was looking for it. I I can accept the show being a fantasy thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's just I was waiting for it, the hammer to drop because mm-hmm. the hammer's been dropping through the whole show. Yeah. But if you're not gonna drop it, yeah. I, I can understand that's the language you're talking. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm mm-hmm. fine with this. The other thing that made me think of is um, it's kind of you know that whole thing where they they have. I think it's, I don't know, I can't remember anime so much with it, but, like, TV shows, they have, like, season one, the protagonists get together. Yeah. Season two, the beginning, they break up. Yeah. And then Uh, the rest of the season, they're, like, slowly getting back together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be something like that. So everything is all Mm happy-go-lucky, and then the beginning of the next season, we'll start to see things fall apart. So we might see, uh, I I hate when this happens, but, like, the with Maranjo, maybe there'll be struggles between Maranjo and Dida. Or between a 12-year-old and... (laughs) <laughs> or Miranjo is just she's a traumatized person so mm-hmm. she's just gonna have mental issues so even if she's like I'm gonna make people happy surely she won't be perfect figuring that out immediately so mm-hmm. she, she's gonna have struggles sorry I just had a, like a thought completely <laughs> okay I was just say I just wanted to say that I legit think none of that's gonna happen really you think it'll just be happy I continuing new 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 problems new problems Ugh. no old problems really I, I, Fairly certain. Hmm. Hmm. So that means we'd have to never ever see Miranjo again. Well, I mean, we can see them. I see them dealing with that like, ranking of the kings and seeing them dealing with the like, outlaws between maybe helping Desha and his family, mm-hmm. dealing with the mother and her light clan. Like, there's external stuff that still connects. Yeah, but that's Why still Miranjo new. betrayed. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, there's issues that will be attached from the past. Mm-hmm. But I don't see Miranjo having to deal with either consequences of her actions or consequences of how she was treated mm. anymore. I feel like it's been resolved. Yeah. I hope not. Because mm. that's what I was holding on to. Like, the fact that it's all taken care of in this one episode is like, nah, they'll come back, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe If they don't, it, it would be a, a massive loss of material. I just think there's a lot of material there. Um, even though that you don't want to focus on it too much, I think it's, it's, it's like a lot of people will think, wait a minute. No. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like it would be something even craved by fans. Hmm. Anyways. You had a thought? Uh, yeah, it's so completely separate. Mm-hmm. What if the... Uh, remember the Yakuza clan made a deal with that uh, one god guy with the weird eye thing? Yeah. What if that deal, once What's-His-Face died, turned them all into sh- blobular black... Shadow people. <gasps> Ooh, what if they were the shadow clan? Yeah, what if that was their consequences? Then they somehow became wholehearted people who would like to assassinate. It matches. <laughs> it matches now that I think about it. They get humbled, but they're oh. still good at what they do. Oh. Betrayal. <laughs> oh my gosh. It could work. Yeah, because I mean, it's the only thing to see. Like, we don't know Dark what to do eyes. Was. That mm-hmm. we never see eyes. Yeah, and he was like, "We'll we'll definitely follow you. Like you, th- there's gonna be consequences for them. Come on, you made a deal with the devil and expected a good a good outcome." Yeah, they died at some point. Yeah, because of uh, we saw Miranda in the shadows dealing with their souls or whatever. But we also, <laughs> uh, well, going back to the top, I just wanted to mention the ministers just popping out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that's all over with after hiding in a pot and under a table. Where were you? What, what was the table gonna do? There was no earthquake. <laughs> Good lads. I, just had I mean, it that. had to be an answer as to why like all the other residents of the castle are missing. Like yeah. the maids, we don't see where the maids showed up. They, mm. a lot of them are there now. The guards. We, we got more guards, They're I guess. Hiding under more tables. <laughs> more tables. 
Yeah. Well, the the guards got pushed out. They just yes. left. Just so they left. walked away. Just walked out. Yeah. They were literally just walking out of the castle. This is they true. never came back. This is true. <laughs> there needs to be a cleansing of the ranks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, we also see. Uh, did we mention Oak and Release? But yeah. Um, oh yeah. That must be King really. Bo, like Snake is like, oh yeah, you're free like, to go. We're like thanks. <laughs> Goes and knocks out guards and frees Oaken. Yeah. I mean, how did he know to do that? He he's he's very what is it? Impulsive? I don't know if it's impulsive. impulsive. No, it's impulsive. Impulsive. It's more short than impulsive. Short sighted and impulsive. Short sighted, short tempered. Impulsive, impulsive, short tempered. All of them. All of them. Oh, everything. <laughs> the tall short man. He's a tall short man. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know that his father is in the woods doing dances on a mountain. So oh yeah, we can't think- take revenge. Right. Somebody needs to tell him about that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also see... Um, what do you think about um, Hilling's little uh, talk with Boji being like, yeah, it's okay to leave your kingdom behind? <sighs> I mean, she gave him both sides of the coin, right? She, she one, gave him, told him that as the king, you, you, you got to have keep up appearances. Your retainers are looking to you to be the rock for the foundation of this whole kingdom. <laughs> And then she showed the other side of, if you truly are not happy here, as your mother, you should go do what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. So I, I think she was as fair as she could be. I'm sh- mm-hmm. and a little shocked that Boji actually left, but yeah. we're going for that Victory Royale ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is true. The, I was so upset until I s- f- her realized his plan. Same. Yeah, I was like, you did not. You, you did I was like, oh, no, you just came out here to get Kage. That's it. Yeah, it Are you going back, right? Yeah, because it kind of felt like that was the whole series. Yeah, the whole to series was king. to become this king. Yeah, of this kingdom. Of this kingdom. Yeah. Of your father's kingdom. The, fa- the kingdom your father, your father established, established kingdom. for you. Yes, the place that was supposed to be your happy place. Mm. No, but I, I think it, it was a great. It's a, it is a better plan, and and the way I think about it is. Maybe kind of maybe with my personality where when I when I ch- when I overcome a challenge if I do it again or keep on like happy like you know king of the hill thing I get mm-hmm. bored so I kind of have to do a different challenge so I kind of mm-hmm. feel like for Boji he's been on this long adventure to <laughs> reach he just conquered the hill As yeah the, the yes he conquered the hill he reached his his goal but now it's like being king is just kind of boring and it's not what he's he's been doing for so long it's like it's it's like a warrior stopping and settling down unless he's like sending out to take care of a family that King Boss did. Boji doesn't really have that connection anymore. Mm-hmm. The only thing he had was Kage. And now he's just kind of sitting there. So I feel like just next next on the throne all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just sit in the room and not do anything. Um the next goal is okay, let me make my own kingdom. So he's mm-hmm. reached his goal. He took the he's he showed himself he could do it. Mm-hmm. Now let's try a new bigger goal. Make my own kingdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this ho- maybe this whole series uh, the whole season was a uh, prequel to the actual oh ranking gosh. of kings. Yes. Him making his own kingdom and then ranking, then all, ranking the way all the way up. Oh my gosh. Incredible. There's so much material that can come out of that. Like, him not inheriting his own father's one, it's multiple seasons. It could be first this establishment, then season three, you see him slowly like trying to climb the ranks, mm-hmm. and then season four, see what happens once he gets to the top. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so, Kage left because he felt like Boji didn't need him anymore. Mm-hmm. And he also at first he was like, um, I'm of such I'm just a crook. I, I don't belong here. Yeah. But then he kinda talked himself out. I was like, No, I've got potential and then he was but he was he was trying to like just talk himself up because he's like, No, I don't be, I shouldn't stay with Boji. I've mm-hmm. I've helped him to reach his goal. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so but now that he's left mm-hmm. is it is this supposed to be like the same issue that's coming again at a slower mm-hmm. pace? Because he Kage is with him this whole time period. To help him become king. So mm-hmm. what happens if Boji becomes king a second yeah. time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is he just going to leave again? Yeah. Like, what, what? Kage needs somebody to need him. Yeah. So through this course of this journey, it's going to have to be that he gets convinced that Boji needs him no matter what. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even if he does make it to the top. Because I I was a bit surprised that Boji didn't make any attempts to even convince him to come back. He no. kind of understood what he needed. Mm-hmm. Or un- Because he seemed happy. Mm-hmm. At first, at least, being at the castle, he only seemed unhappy once he realized Kage wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. So then, why would Boji decide I need to abandon the kingdom mm. to be with Kage? Mm. Yeah. Like, why? Why, why wasn't Ka- it just why is Boji here? Yeah. Why isn't it just get Kage come back? Like get Kage convinced and come back. Yeah. Why was his objective of making a new kingdom? Yeah. Before he knew why Kage left. That's a good point. 
This is true. This is an unresolved issue. There's no communication. Well, we have communication issues, but yeah. communication. <laughs> um, yeah, they need to have a good talk. So mm-hmm. maybe, hopefully, next season, there'll be some relationship resolution. Not resolution, but like... It's, it's, it's conflict, not conflict. Dealing with issues. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, kind conflict of. resolution. Talking it out, understand where they, they stand. Need, they need understand. to understand each other more yeah. emotionally. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't know that. I think the best way for that to happen is like something happens and um, they just under they just kind of just understand. Oh, you do need me without saying it. You know, mm-hmm. that would be the best way for it to happen because they, they're not people who will say, "I need you, Bochi. You are my son. <laughs> you are my son with a you. Yeah, not with a no. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of complications. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. But yeah, Bochi's on the road now. I got very excited. I, like, I felt the joy of, yeah. oh, we're going on an adventure. Yes! We're not there. Yes. yes! Me too. Yeah. Hmm. I, I turned from anger to excitement real fast. It was yeah. like, new kingdom! New king- yeah. This is this is like getting a new DLC on the game. It's like, yes! <laughs> I can make a kingdom! I can start my <laughs> game all over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like Sims. It's like every few weeks you just start a new family. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now that it's over... Uh, I guess we can rate it because there is no confirmed season two, so mm-hmm. we can rate it as a series. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Who wants to go first? Like, how do you rate the show? I rate it S rank. S. Oh. Yes, because I I would recommend this to anybody. Mm-hmm. What are my top ten favorite animes? This is on it. <laughs> mm. I love this. Show. Wow, it's I incredible. Do, I do notice you tend to rank things based on how often how you can recommend it to others. Yeah. So. Do you put it up there in terms of, like, story as well? And uh, Oh, yeah, totally. The story is awesome. It does that thing that I love that stories do when they show you a thing and they let you surmise what it's about. Mm. And they let you... They t- show you, like, a hint of this thing, a hint, a hint of the, another thing, and then they let you, on your own time, connect those things together. Like, the fact that the Light Clan is probably remnants of old Homa Clan. Mm-hmm. Because they're both mages and stuff. Yeah. I love okay. that. Um, for me, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't feel like S tier, and I don't know why. Like, I, as you were talking, I was like, I don't feel S, but I feel like it's really, really good, but I can't put my finger on, like, what I would downgrade it for. So I would give it, like, an A plus with, like, understudy for an S, you know? It's <laughs> understudy. It's understudy. But yeah, it's, re- it's really good. Again, yeah. I like you, I would recommend it to anyone to watch. Mm-hmm. Like, even people who are not into anime, if they want to get into anime, mm-hmm. and they're, maybe they're l- more lighthearted people who don't want too much drama, mm-hmm. but just enough to keep you interested, this show is good because it like the ending it's just it's in it's so wholesome <laughs> you know like even after all the turmoil all the dark scenes and the metal and everything is like you make it out alive yeah, yeah. you know and the weird thing the unfinished business doesn't feel as important after you get the ending yeah doesn't it it's like you you're at the beginning it's, of this i was thinking desha what about desha yeah. what about Oaken? and then after everything happened it's like it's like oh it's fine just, <laughs> you know it's like you completely forget it's like birth pains you get your baby and you don't care anymore you know <laughs> hell of an analogy yeah half our audience will understand <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i i i would recommend it totally to anybody so I really have no reason to not give it an S. I I just I I, I don't know. It's maybe it's not. Oh, I know what it is. It's the type of show that I usually love is action, mm. and fighting and action. You know. <laughs> yeah. So that to me is S tier. Is like it gets my adrenaline rushed. So maybe that's why most the show has some fighting and stuff but it's not like all of the show Mm -hmm. so i guess it feels more calm to me it's more like i can relax and chill drink some lemonade and enjoy the show you know yeah so maybe that's what it is Mm. my my natural tendency is towards more action but yeah so i think it it definitely s understudy understudy. a plus (laughs) yeah i was thinking about this whole time i I wasn't gonna put it in s but i definitely was gonna put it in b um, I was thinking more between A and A+, plus, and I'm leaning towards A+, plus, the more I think about mm-hmm. it, because this is a show that 
it manages to capture what I feel like can be described as like the magic of when you're like a kid watching like a show. Wonder. A wonder. It has the feeling of wonder when I'm looking at this show, and I, yeah. I want every episode. I was legitimately excited to see. Yeah. I don't really yeah. get that with shows in yeah. general, not, yeah. let alone anime. Yeah. Um, I I don't want to give an S pres- only because I'm someone who puts a lot of value in stories with consequence mm-hmm. even with shows that end sadly i will rank very highly even mm-hmm. even if it ended in ways i didn't want it to end mm-hmm. because i felt like it was earned or it written in a way that it made sense mm-hmm. with this i do take some issues with the lack of um overall not with the lack of consequence the lack of it feeling like things matter matter mm-hmm. yes because for me to be able to brush aside the things and just accept the world for the way it was i did have to go in with the more light expectation not as heavy or oh okay that happens that this happens why this character do this you mm-hmm. know stuff like that yeah. even though the characters are complex it's just a complex in a different way yeah. so because of that I don't it's complexity brings it down a little bit but it's legitimately one of the greatest new shows I've, I've seen in a couple of years yeah. especially with that again that sense of wonder and excitement it brings uh, there's few shows that can do it like that so A plus yeah yeah, yeah. Very excited. I hope there's a season two. I know it yeah. did very well in terms of, like, um, the manga was selling very well. Mm. I don't know how popular the show itself was. It did win some uh, anime of the year and, I think, soundtrack of the year. Ooh. Really? Nice. 2021, I think. 2022. Congratulations. Yes. Very good. Oh, oh, no. It was an anime of the year. It was um, Best Boy of the Year. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> sure. Best Boy. Anime Best Boy of the Year. Mm-hmm. He is the best boy. He really is. Speaking of which, you did, I didn't mention it when I was giving my mini review, but this music in this show is oh, not a missed beat. Yeah. yeah. Very I'm, I <clears throat> don't... I'm not into anime soundtracks. Whenever people are like, oh my gosh, did you hear the OP? Did you hear the background music? No. I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but every... I play this... The, both of them just on their... Just when I want to. I don't do that yeah. with music, period. I love this music. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It makes you want to learn it. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and the arts, the, the the visuals of this show is incredible. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look, you know, anime has an anime look. Yeah. It has its own yeah. look, and yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's incredible. Anything else, guys? Mm, nope. All right. Well, guys, that is the end of this show. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys very much for watching through this whole thing. Remember to leave a like if you like. liked it. Um, I will say also, this was a personal pick show. This was not a poll show. Yeah. We have two poll shows, two personal pick shows. At least that's what we've been doing it so far. Um, right now, our schedule is really tight and things are really messy. Uh, a lot of background stuff in terms of getting things ready so we can even watch the shows. Yeah. So we don't know if we're going to be replacing this show for quite a while, especially with the coming seasons, we've got a lot of shows coming back a relatively lot of soon. Twos and um, threes. Attack on Titan, Mob Psycho. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some. I have a list written down, but yeah. a lot of shows are coming back. My Hero this August first. Yeah. We're gonna be watching the OVA for that. So yeah, don't expect a replacement show quite yet. But thanks again for watching with us through this whole thing. I will try to keep you updated. But uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you guys in the city. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. Special thanks to our patrons, Nocturnal Legends, Marcus Sosa, Dirty Old Man, Fizzbuzz, and Cade Macy.